Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. More than 50 migrants taken into custody in the Florida Keys over the weekend after they arrived on homemade boats. All this coming after Governor Ron DeSantis signed an executive order to activate the National Guard to add more state resources to the Keys. Some of those resources, they're there now with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and FHP setting a, up a command post. Only on 10, authorities looking for crooks who stole catalytic converters from two small businesses in West Park. This is surveillance video capturing the thieves using a jack to raise a truck, and one of the men starts to cut away a catalytic converter. The car part taken from vehicles being sold at scrap yards for several hundred dollars because of the value of their metals. A woman accused of striking two pedestrians in separate hit-and-run crashes on Miami Beach facing a judge. Haney Ramirez charged with leaving the scene of a crash and reckless driving. She's being held on $15,000 bond. Police say Ramirez was driving north on Collins Avenue near 44th Street on Thursday when she hit a woman. Then moments later, a few blocks away, police say she hit a man who was taken to the hospital in critical condition. And Miami Dolphins heading to the playoffs, snapping a losing streak on Sunday. They had to wait a few minutes for Buffalo to beat the New England Patriots to make the playoff appearance official. Miami plays in Buffalo in the first round of the playoffs next Sunday. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.